Okay, we're going to do a superset here. The first part involves lifting, concentric and eccentric lifting, doing a chest press, and the second part involves doing something called a weighted stretch. This this is shown to actually help build muscle. So what we're doing is we're stacking one on top of the other to try and really increase the effect. Now, I'm going to do a, uh, a dumbbell bench press. So I'm going to go over the form of that. If I was, if you were looking at me as I was lying down on the bench, you would see me doing this with the dumbbells, coming down until I was outside my chest. So my fist, the inside of it is kind of on the outside of my shoulder. And I'm bringing my arms together, not pausing here, coming right back down. Brief pause here, up, right back down, breathe out, in, okay? My core is tight. I want to remain, remember when I'm on the bench, five points of contact, okay? First is my feet are on the ground, and I want to actually think about gripping the ground with my feet. Just activate my whole body. Grip the dumbbells really tight so that my upper body is activated. Okay? Nice tight core. So one, two, my feet are on the ground, gripping the ground. Three, my butt's on the bench. Four, my shoulder blades are squeezed together and firmly on the bench. Five, my head's on the bench. Okay? There's an arch in my back. Kind of lifting my chest up, reducing the total range of motion that I, I need to use in the press, but more importantly, stabilizing me on the bench. Okay? That's the first exercise we're going to do. I'll demonstrate it without the dumbbells. I'm going to come back. Well, actually, let me use the dumbbells, sorry, just so you get a sense of it. I have another video on how to do this, but what I'm going to do is float the dumbbells in the front of my thighs like this. Sit down. They're against my torso. I'm going to lie back and immediately push them up and turn them. Squeeze my shoulder blades and I'm right into it. Breathe in. Out. ground with my toes, gripping the dumbbells with all I got. I'm going to do 10 to 14 repetitions of these. And then you see that little fancy thing I did there? I turned the dumbbells and I kind of threw them up, put them on my knees and let gravity take me up. I call that the lazy person's way of getting up. I'm going to put the dumbbells down and without resting, I'm immediately going to do 30 seconds of a, a chest stretch, okay? So a dumbbell fly, I have another video on this, looks like this, and, and it's meant to work mainly the chest, okay? Dumbbell fly looks like this. Come down as far as I can with my arms straight, and as I, I pull up, I pull my elbows together. I do that mentally because I don't want to bend my arms like this. But a weighted stretch would be just like this, okay? And I want them out right in line with my shoulders. And I'm going to keep my arms straight and just like gravity, slowly pull the weights down. I can really feel my chest stretching. It's not a, a lot of weight. These are only 12 pound dumbbells, but man, can I feel them stretching, okay? And I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, I'm just going to put them down, okay? Don't Go all the way down, you're gonna to put too much pressure on your shoulders, just kind of come forward a bit and let them roll out of your hands, okay? Now let's put those two together. We're gonna to do 10 to 14 repetitions of the chest press, and then 30 seconds of the, uh, the weighted stretch, the weighted fly stretch, okay? So again, come scratch, I'm gonna tighten everything like I'm squatting down, I'm not slouching, I'm protecting my back, pick these up, Float them onto my thighs, let them rest against my torso, and here we go, 10 to 14 reps and then 30 seconds of the stretch. Now I pick a weight, ideally, that will let me get to 10 reps, but it's so heavy that I can't get past 14. That's 10, so as soon as this weight was that weight, when I hit 11, I'm starting to struggle getting it up. And then 12 is really a struggle, okay? And 13 is like next to impossible. I can kind of do it, but I know if I come down again, I'm dead in the water, right? So I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna put them down. I've done 13 good reps. 
I'm gonna grab these, I'm gonna come right back, and I'm gonna stretch for 30 seconds. My clock is ticking, I can hear it. That's 10, my arms are straight. You can feel the dumbbells slowly approaching the floor. Stretch is getting better. At the same time, I'm creating an anabolic effect. It's like a, an occlusion effect. It's, that's 20 seconds. It's restricting the blood flow. It's actually one way of building muscle is literally tourniqueting off parts of your body while you train them. Don't do it, please. It's very dangerous. Even the originator of it had some struggles with it. Yeah, that was 30 seconds, okay? So this is a safe way of doing occlusion training. Don't, don't tie and tourniquet yourself off and do curls and stuff. Please don't. I, I mean, you really have to know what you're doing there. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never tried it. But I like this because it gives the same effect. So you see, 10 to 14 repetitions of those. And on that, I'm working my chest. I'm working my triceps, my front and my side deltoid muscles. And, but I really want to hit the chest muscles, right? And so for the second step, I'm stretching just the chest, really. My biceps too a little bit, but mainly the chest, I can really feel it. Okay, so that's a great superset. Dumbbell bench press with a, uh, a dumbbell fly weighted stretch.